is Mr. Ed. Today is February the 27th, 2024. I know Charlie's back there, but I don't know if we, I'm so down on the ground, I don't think you're going to be able to get down in here, Charlie. I really don't want to. You want to try? They're, they're pretty active. They're pretty <laughs> they're, active. They're, they're, there, there he is. Right. There he is. I'm, right I'm there. Here. So we're, like I said, we're in Slide L this morning, and we have bees in, in a shed right here. And here is the point where the bees are making their entrance underneath the shed. They are going underneath it. The, uh, there's actually a little piece of concrete right here where the bees can have a little platform to land on and then crawl underneath the shed. So you can see the bees clustered all down right up in here. And let me, let me get inside and show you. Oh, look, there was some going in with pollen right now. Um, get inside right there and let me show you what that hive looks like on the floor of this shed. There are our bees. A really nice, nice section signature. of, yeah, very, very, very easy. And I don't have my laser with me today, Charlie. The, uh, here is my foot right there. So that is the extent of the width of it. And then it travels all the way back Ooh, to right here. My goodness. Yeah, so that's probably about a good four foot by about 12 inches. When I was coming over this morning, it's February the 27th, and man, there the stuff is just blooming. It's just starting to come out right now. I saw um, the pears, I saw the uh, cherry trees, uh, camellias are, are really going strong. Um, the uh, mayhaw trees, plum trees, uh, the azaleas are blooming. It's just a lot, a lot of stuff is just coming out. Not a whole lot, but it's, it's, we're right on the edge of things just busting open. So I'm looking on the ground right here, and look at this, Charlie. There's a drone right here. Wow. Now, there's a, there's a, a few other bees on the ground right here that I'm, that I'm looking at too. So there's there's some dead bees out here for whatever reason that is I don't I don't know, but that is definitely a drone right there. So we may find drones uh, up up in this up in this hive. By the grace of God, <laughs> these little girls right here, they're gonna come back up to the abbey with me and become abbey honeybees. Charlie, you ready to wrangle? <laughs> yeah, before you get stung, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. These bees are really starting to get active. Our temperature, really, it's going up. We're supposed to hit 80 degrees today. Uh, right now, it's probably 70 plus. Um, so I got everything laid out inside. I have the line where I'm going to be following. Got my handles screwed down already. I think it's time to cut this floor, Charlie. I think it's time to open it up and let's see what we've got. I think it's going to be a big surprise myself. Woohoo! Well, let me sweep that stuff off. attached. Ooh, I see comb on it. I think so. I cut right to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, folks, let's see what this little colony is going to look like. A lot of it's breaking loose. Come on out with it. We got most of it. There's a few pieces in the floor still. I am surprised because uh, I was fully expecting to find comb like this, the height of this, three inches or so, because it's only a, a, a two by four floor on that. So this is what I was expecting to find throughout the whole hive. And yet, look at this, we've got, we've got comb that's seven or eight inches tall. Just a tiny little bit of the comb that was touching the ground. Charlie, let's go inside and let me show, show them what's going on inside. And inside, inside of where the hive was, here is the entrance to the hive. And there is a little bit of the, the uh, skids that this shed was on, this is one of the skids right here. And so they built the shallow comb at this end. But since they had another three inches to build on this end, they, they, they did it. Now, fortunately for us, the bees did not go beyond this area right here. I thought there was another stud right there, but there wasn't. And I can see a cluster of bees right here, so we may have to run these bees out. But only a little bit of comb was broken off. And this is really interesting, I find. This piece of comb right here, look at all of our drone brood on that comb. Look at that, all drone, all drone comb. So these bees, these bees are way further along than the bees that we saw in New Orleans just a few days ago. Now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna vacuum these bees right in here and then remove this comb. We have one piece of comb. I'm gonna take this piece out right here and we're gonna frame this one because again, we're gonna keep the bees on the brood. It's just better for them, I believe now. And the, uh, this is all honey, I believe, right up in here. So this stuff will just wind up going into a box, into an ice chest. So I'm gonna grab my, my knife, we're gonna remove this piece first and then we're gonna start backing the bees off of this and eventually get to the bees on the outside. I know this piece is full of brood Wow look at that brood look at the brood look oh, look how much brood is on here my goodness drones walking around. Yep. Charlie, you let me put that in that upside down. see our queen on there.
I have to say I am concerned about doing this outside because of robber bees, but we are just going to have to try to be quick as we can. All right, so there's our first frame of comb inside of our box, and now, now we're going to get inside and vacuum up those bees in there. Look at that, folks. This is, this is the, we have removed the comb, and this is the, all the bees that ran back here. What I'm gonna do now, like I always do, I'll grab the honey bandit. And what the honey bandit is, is just a all natural liquid, mostly made out of almond extract. And we use it to put it on our fume boards to chase bees out of our honey supers, but it's very effective in running bees out from an area that I can't access. I'm gonna squirt it up inside of there and you're gonna see the show. Charlie, right here. <laughs> get her, get her, get her before she goes in that little spot. <laughs> How about that, folks? Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Woo! Wait, how about that, folks? Right from the start, we got her. Gonna save us a lot of time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! How about that? What what a break. We we really caught a break. 
I, I, I wouldn't have suspected the queen to have been in there because we had pulled out so much of the comb. I would have thought she was out there. And as it turned out, she was at the end of this comb out here and whoop, she, she ran underneath it. And we got fortunate enough by the blessing of God and saw her right here, right here. It's time to focus all of our attention now on getting that comb with all those bees into our box. Let's get outside, Charlie. All right, let's do it. I don't know how calm these bees are gonna be to allow me to not wear a veil, but it's already warming up. But we'll find out. Look at this, Charlie. I already see a cup, a queen cup already being formed over here. There's a queen cup? Right here. Oh yeah, right there. But there's nothing in it yet. Right. Nothing in it. But it's there. Man, this is, this is, this is beautiful right here. I guess, I guess what I want to do is I'm gonna start at this end because this is our bigger comb and I want to get as much comb uh, in that box as possible. And these are smaller pieces down here. So we'll just figure it out as we go. I went and moved that queen to the outside. All these bees that are coming in, uh, I just figured it'd be better since you're out here already. We'll put our queen out here and let the bees get drawn to her, make it a little bit easier for, for me to vacuum them. <laughs> okay. This, this is gonna, this area of the, of the comb, it's gonna be very difficult to frame up because you've got this part that's fallen down onto it. Um, these parts, these pieces may be e easier to frame, but these outside pieces, it's just all wacky. So I'm gonna vacuum the bees off of it. Even though I know there's brood on it, I don't want to do that, but I'm not gonna be able to frame this stuff up. So we're gonna vacuum the bees off of this area right here and just put this stuff in the ice chest. And then when we get to some good comb, that's frameable, then we'll just keep leaving the bees on it. All of our drone comb is off of there. We got dogs barking, but now we're going to start framing all of this stuff up onto our frames and leaving our bees on on that brood. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do it again. Look at all those bees coming in this hive with pollen. These frames are down or on the ground. These bees are covered with pollen on their bodies and all over their legs. You see it down here, Charlie? That's what I'm talking about. I don't know. If well, I got the ones up there. Oh, okay. They had pollen on them. Looks great. I mean, they are covered. They are. They're covered with it. Beautiful. Charlie, we've run out of frames, and we still have a lot of comb left, but we're back into the drone. There you go. What I'm going to do now is, because this is just honey and drone, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to vacuum the bees, so I'm going to try to brush them off into our box, let them get onto that, and then we'll remove all that comb right there. You can see these bees just going down into the box. This might help to get some bees down in here. We'll put her right there. All right, we got most of the bees off of there. I'm gonna vacuum the rest and cut this comb off of here and put that in the ice chest. Here are the, a few of the pieces of comb that I cut off at that end. And since it's honey, I'm gonna see if I can put it onto some of these frames uh, to help support them as well as give a little bit of food to those bees. Don't tell the bees I did this. Oh my goodness. Don't tell, Charlie. I don't think they'll mind some of my germs. <laughs> I'll tell you, these bees are real calm. Very. Great genetics. They'll make a welcome addition up there, Charlie. Absolutely. All right, so that's all the honey we could give them. And now, the issue that we're going to have to work on 
bring the camera over here, Charlie, and you guys show them. Yeah, we got bees all over here. And Charlie, come look on the inside, too. Oh, these girls think that the hive is still here. Look at the pollen on them. Unreal. I'm going to grab the back and start backing. Okay. I went and sprayed some more honey bandit inside, vacuum first, and then sprayed and ran all the bees out. And then what I did was I moved our box with all the bees and our queen on it right here. So hopefully all the bees that we chased out, when they come back, they're going to hear and see these bees right here. So we're going to wait 15, 20 minutes. We're going to pick up our gear and come back and check on all these girls. And it ought to be really calm by then. Well, folks. <laughs> It ain't here no more. The only thing that's in here now, a few robber bees, maybe some of the field bees that are coming back, but a lot of honey bandit smell. Oh my gosh, it's it's strong. So, Charlie, I think that's it. We, let's get out to the van and close this uh, thing. I think up. this is about it. We need to get rolling. All right. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Another well done job. I'm telling you, this is probably the easiest one we've done this year. You already said that. But we've only done three removes. Three of them. <laughs> and, and one of them was uh, busted. Well, that's when we, we counted as a remove. Okay. Right. Yeah, we were busted. All right. A lot of bees, a lot of pollen, a little bit of honey. Some great bees, too. Yeah. They're very calm. We got the her queen. Right there. Yeah. All right, that's it for me, Charlie. That's it. All I can think of was how easy this one was. I, I didn't even break a sweat. I did. Yeah. <laughs> how many times did you get stung? None. None? None today. And I haven't gotten stung yet, but I mean, you know, we haven't gotten home yet. Yeah, yeah, we got to ride with the bees. Yeah, we have to ride. But that's all right. But uh, I think that's about all I have. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. And we'll be making more. That's what you just said? That's right. Okay. We'll be making more. Well, then God bless. It's Mr. Red. And Good Time Charlie right we're, here. We're out of here till when, Charlie? Till the next bee removal. God bless everybody. Thank I you. hate beekeeping. <laughs> Charlie.